And I'd like to clarify something actually about, so um, the I, actually, well, the J is one of five letters in the ICJMT, but it actually has a disproportionately large representation, not just in this room, but I would argue in the entire context and discussion. And actually understanding what I think other people mean by an I school is, a, is probably a useful thing to understand and to understand examples of that. Um, because it colors, I think, what many people from the tech people coming into it um, bring into that, that mode. Um, and so an example of things that often are, are done in different I schools or information schools, an example of this would be bioinformatics or genetics is just information and in fact the ability to sequence the human genome was um, only made possible by a computational technique because the mm -hmm. specific uh, gene sequences, you only get little pieces of it and you have to be able to match them up in a way called a shotgun sequencing algorithm. Um, and so the processing of information, whether it be genetics or text or spoken language or the connectedness and the, the, the uh, connections that people express to one another through different uh, digital media that they have today, those are common topics that are, are examined and discussed within an iSchool. And so those might rel range everywhere from the natural sciences to more of the social sciences. So, for example, in um, any given year, I, I mean, a recent paper that I wound up reading was on uh, trying to diagnose the, um, the future of Belgium as a country based upon the SMS messages that are sent between different groups of the population. Belgium is a bipartite <coughs> country. There's the French and the Dutch speaking part. And it turns out they don't talk to one another. Um, and you can find that by the fact that they don't send text messages to one another. You don't even have to look at the content of the text message. You can just look at who identifies as Belgian or, or French or Danish or Dutch speaking um, for that. So there's an example of something where you're using information. Is it related to journalism? Well, you could probably write a story about it, but it's related to something broader. It's not computer science. But um, to be really honest, if you tried to get any three computer science people in a room, as our discussion group has done, you would have a hard time trying to define what computer science is. Um, I was on a thesis uh, of a student earlier this year who her bachelor's thesis was actually developing um, an infrastructure to help orphanages in India. It's a social entrepreneur um, program to help um, orphanages get the right resources that they want in a matter that sustains them in a sustainable way to get resources for orphanages. Is that computer science? Well, I guess it was because we <laughs> signed her thesis. Yeah. Um, there are also people, for example, like um, Larry Hunter going now away from bioinformatics. He's at UC Denver. And what he focuses on that, if you, let's say if you're working on a specific piece of genetic material and you're trying to find out what else might this gene do, there's five to 10,000 other people's documents that have been written about this in science and nature and everything else. He has works on trying to do the understanding of those documents in a way that you don't have to read 10,000 of them to possibly find the one that helps you identify what that gene does, right? So that's a connection of words and information and there's a structure that gets pulled out of that and that's, that is something that would be typically done in an iSchool um, in a lot of other places. There's some other things that are done, and, and this is sort of other representatives. So I was looking actually at the uh, University of Utah has a school of computing. And so they actually do some things that I don't think are done on this campus. So for example, they have an entire class on machinima, uh, which I've always wanted to take one. Um, uh, they, they have a, an entertainment arts and engineering program. Um, Carnegie Mellon University has a digital arts and entertainment engineering program because it's, it's an engineering school where what they're working on is you know how do you develop when is it that the next great American novel is a video game right how do I get to that point or is that even a point to is that something that one can do at that point um, is that even a, a discussion to have but there are people in those programs that are then working with people in different parts of media and, and entertainment so it's possible to do um, for that and it's it's also not something you'd find in Westwood College I'll just be real quick because I think part of the question was directed at our group. Yes, of course we're looking at other programs um, and what they're doing and how they've tried to innovate. But just because a certain program, you know, may have may be doing something a certain way that's a, regarded as a really great program, doesn't mean that it is actually the thing to do. And I'll give you uh, p perhaps an example. Uh, I went to Columbia. It's a great school. Um, I learned journalism. I got a great education in journalism. 
My son now is an undergraduate at Columbia, and he's telling me of all the things that are available at Columbia that I had no idea existed because we lived in a walled compound mm -hmm. and never, ever got out into Columbia and learned anything else. And I feel like I was cheated. So I don't want students in journalism who are, I, I think I can say confidently, are going to ha get a world-class education in journalism in whatever new program that we create. I don't want them to be sitting up on a day at some time 20 years from now saying the same thing that I just said. Uh, and, I, and I say that with great conviction because I see what happens when students in journalism interact with students outside of journalism and what it creates is something very different than what I see as sort of mainstream journalism which I guess could be summed up in one simple phrase you know cable television 500 channels no content that's not the future of journalism that I envision I envision something very different and that's what, we, that's what we're trying to shoot for. The answer, the answer to your, your question, you know, will you be able to get a, a, a good education in journalism? Absolutely. That's just, a, that's, but in order to get a good education in journalism, how could you, you know, not, how, how could you, you know, not gain from all this amazing riches that there are across campus? That's what we have to, we have to figure out what that balance is, because it's hard enough to learn all these new technologies, learn how to be a multimedia journalist, Go with the backpack and a camera and a still camera and produce stuff for the web, plus know something about the world. How do we do that? How do we accomplish that? I, have, I don't know. That's why we're having this conversation.